Hi guys, I'm Dana Stone and I'm an integrative child and adult sleep coach. I work with families and individuals to improve their life and their health with a better night of sleep. Welcome back to my five minutes to better sleep series where we will break down the different elements that dramatically affect our sleep in a clear, easy to understand way. Together, we're gonna explore the why, the how, and what we can do about it. Today, we're discussing movement and sleep. So there is substantial scientific evidence to support the theory that exercise improves sleep. When you exercise regularly, it can contribute to healthier, more restful sleep and may help improve sleep issues like insomnia and RLS. So how does exercise boost sleep? So first, it improves the quality of your sleep. So physical activity increases the time that you spend in the later stages of sleep. So stage three and stage four of the non-REM sleep. This is the most physically restorative of the sleep phases. So stage three and four, they help boost your immune function. They support cardiac health. They help control stress and anxiety. All of this contributes to a more restful night of sleep. Now second, it helps increase how long you sleep. Physical activity requires you to expend energy. It helps fatigue the muscles and it helps you feel more tired and ready to rest at the end of the day. Last, exercise helps reduce stress and helps relieve anxiety. Stress is a common cause of sleep issues. And this could be, you know, trouble falling asleep and restlessness during the night. Five minutes of exercise can work as a stress buster and trigger anti-anxiety responses in the body. So mind-body exercises such as yoga that have a focus on breathing can help quiet that sympathetic nervous system, which we dive into in our session about stress. Mind-body exercises also um, help with stretching and they're shown to lower the cortisol level as well. So they reduce the blood pressure and your mood gets a boost of happiness as well. So does this mean you have to start a new fitness class and spend an hour each day pouring sweat? No, start small. Small changes are the key to lifetime results. So do you have an Apple Watch or a Fitbit? Can you track yourself and set a goal, like maybe just to stand 12 hours each day, always closing that little stand ring, right? Can you challenge yourself to do a short walk before you start your work day in the morning or take a lunch break or a stroll after dinner? It doesn't have to be extreme. Just get up, move in a new way, increase what you have been doing in the past. Now, if you don't try to change everything at once, you're gonna see the positive changes and it will excite you and it'll keep you going. You'll start to feel better and look better and sleep better, you'll be sick less. About two years ago, I started my slow increase in movement. I started with walking on the treadmill and then started to work out a couple days a week slowly and steadily I increased the amount of activity and I got to a point where I was working out five days a week 30 minutes a day and right now I've committed to working out 45 minutes to an hour six days a week if I would have tried to jump straight to that two years ago there's no way that I would have been able to sustain the changes necessary so are there changes that you can make today right now dig a little here can you park the car in the back of the parking lot so that you have to walk a bit more when you're going into work for the day can you take the stairs instead of the elevator can you set an alarm on your phone 10 minutes before the end of the hour just to remind you to stand up walk around the house what small changes can you implement this week to help you get a better night's sleep that's it for today so stay tuned as we dig in more on the next episode of five minutes to better sleep be sure to like and subscribe if you want to learn more about assessing your sleep habits click on the free evaluation download in the description or visit www.restassuredconsulting.com